Since the 1950s, humanity has produced as much as 10 billion tons of plastic, with more than 60% of it tossed into landfills, burned or leaking into the environment. And the amount is growing rapidly from year to year. Today, the world produces twice as much plastic as it did two decades ago, reaching 460 million tons per year. 40% of this goes into single-use packaging and only 9% is successfully recycled. Annual production of fossil fuel-based plastics is set to top 1.2 billion tons by 2060 and the amount of waste to exceed 1 billion tons. To solve this growing problem of plastic pollution, researchers are now looking at alternative methods for plastic reduction. This led to the discovery of plastic-eating mushrooms. And while some are incredibly rare, others can be found in your local market. Fungi are known for their ability to break down dead plants. That's why in 2011, researchers at Yale University tested several dozen fungi to digest the synthetic polymer polyester polyurethane, or short PUR. Several members of the fungal genus Pestalotopsis were able to degrade PUR and convert it into organic material in both solid and liquid suspensions. In an experiment measuring the rate at which the fungal decomposed, they noticed significant clearance in plastic material after just two weeks. Pestalotopsis microspora is not just able to live on plastic alone. The plain looking light brown mushroom can even live in environments without oxygen. This unique ability to decompose plastic in anaerobic conditions would make them the ideal candidates for landfills. Because modern landfills are dry and oxygen poor, what normally makes it impossible for anything to decompose properly, including organic material. And the ability to survive and degrade PUR in liquid and solid suspensions also suggests that they can be used to remove plastic from the ocean, particularly from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Although the Yale study didn't examine the edible qualities of the plastic degrading fungi, the Utrecht University has demonstrated in a project that certain types of mushrooms remain edible, even after consuming plastic. The common oyster mushroom, for example, is capable of decomposing plastic while still creating an edible mushroom, which could open up doors for its use as an at-home recycling system. And mushrooms are even more versatile the mycelium can be used to make a fabric that is carbon negative, waterproof, antimicrobial and can be naturally dyed any color. Its production requires no fertilizers and very little water, while it takes over 3200 liters of water to make a single cotton t-shirt. A dress made from a type of mycelium fabric only takes 12, making it an excellent eco-friendly alternative. Mycelium-based fabric can even be hard or soft depending on the amount of light, humidity and temperature it gets, making it an incredibly versatile textile. Brands like Hermes and Lululemon have already announced that they will adding mushroom leather to their collections. But probably the craziest ability possessed by any species of fungus is to eat radioactive waste. In 2007, scientists discovered that a fungus in the Chernobyl complex can decompose radioactive material such as the hot graphite in the remains of the Chernobyl reactor. The fungus grows towards the hottest and most radioactive places, like phototropism but for deadly toxins. It has tons of very dark melanin pigment that absorbs radiation and harmlessly processes it to create energy. Scientists believe that this mechanism could be used to create biomimetic substances that could block radiation and turn it into a renewable energy source. They are currently conducting tests with it on the International Space Station in hopes that the fungus could one day help make the station's radioactive environment more hospitable by blocking off the massive amount of interstellar radiation. If we can find a way to harness the power of these mushrooms, some scientists believe that these natural composters could be the key to cleaning up our planet. Because of more research, mushrooms could offer an organic solution to two of the world's greatest problems, waste and food scarcity.